All right, nice. The very first step is to download two apps. The very first app is called GP Overlay, and the second app is called Parsec. Now, make sure you get specifically these two apps. And I'm going to put the apps in the description. And if you don't get these apps, I can't ensure that it's going to work, right? So, GP Overlay and Parsec. Let's go ahead and open up GP Overlay. So, you got to allow it to draw over other apps. That's going to allow it to work properly, right? So, we do that. We go back, and then we open it back up. Well, get out of here and then we open it right so basically what this app does is allows you to make a gamepad that you can actually interact with Minecraft because what's the point of seeing it if you can not actually control it right so it's very easy you click on more buttons and then you go ahead and slide into the position you want right each time I'm clicking more buttons and sliding boom and then we're going to have another one that's space. Now, you can use, you can pretty much put every single key um, for Minecraft. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm only going to put the kind of the essential. So, W, A, S, D, because those are the key binds. And then, of course, space. And boom, right there. That's it. And then we go ahead and click save and then create. Now what this does is creates a floating keyboard right here, as you can see, that I can move around to either corner. Now what this does is summon the keyboard. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but usually there's like a miniature keyboard in the bottom right of the screen. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if there isn't, you need to go back into settings, type in keyboard right here, click on virtual keyboard, and then enable this game player keyboard and that's going to allow you to actually use it now when you open it up you should see the miniature keyboard click on that and then click change your keyboard to this wasd thing that we just made and as you can see it's kind of cut off but that's because you're going to be playing minecraft and landscape so if we go to something like parsec and then we move it over as you can see everything is now revealed now we can start with the parsec portion of this tutorial all right, so the Parsec part. Make sure you download Parsec, the app, on your computer and your phone. And make sure the f computer is not a Mac. It has to be a Windows or something equivalent, right? Um, uh, so, and then once you get that, sign in. And then make sure you're signed in into both Parsec apps. And now, we should, if you did it correctly, if you're connected to Wi-Fi and everything, you should be able to see your computer right here. Now I could just click connect. And right now I am actually playing, I have Minecraft up and running on my computer. So when I click connect, it should basically stream the screen of Minecraft to my phone. And as you can see, it did right there. And if you have any doubt that this is Java edition, you can see it right under the big bold Minecraft letters. But is it playable? So let's go ahead and start up a world. top and it's an i3 it's not it's not very good computer especially for streaming and stuff and as you can see it's quite smooth right but as you can see i can't move there's no way to actually do anything except for do this except for that's where the gp overlay app comes in and now we get this awesome keypad that we can just immediately use and as you can see it's playable and additional proof that this is, uh, where's the giant? I had a giant, um, where'd the giant go? I had a big giant here, just, like, extra proof that it's, um, Java edition. I don't know where the giant went. It probably despawned or something. But yeah, I have Elytra on. Absolutely amazing. So yes, this is indeed Java edition. And I am indeed playing it on my phone. And because it's through the internet, as long as my computer's on and my phone's connected to the internet, I can play from anywhere. So, yeah. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoy enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, share this video or something. Uh, yeah.